Okay, here's a follow-up to my um, stand for a portable bandsaw. This is a Harbor Freight portable bandsaw. Um, it's been a great tool, um, but I wanted something that was more of a vertical bandsaw stand um, as opposed to just using a, the thing handheld. Um, so I had this square tubing uh, left over from an old trailer gate. Um, I just made a little square frame here um, and then I just welded one upright and then a support across the bottom here and I just drilled and tapped uh, two holes in the back side of the, the case um, used some quarter by 20 screws and then I did one more down here um, and it's it's pretty sturdy I mean it, it's not going anywhere um, what comes on the bandsaw originally is just just this little plate. It's just a little metal plate, little blade guide, um, which it, it works fine if you're just using it as portable, but uh, I needed something that was a little more substantial. Um, so this is just a piece of uh, one by six pine. It's pretty soft. Um, but I put a little dado slot in there for um, just a miter gauge off of my table saw. Just made it to fit so I can, I can do my 45 or 30 degree cuts on whatever I need. Um, it works out pretty good. The only downside to this is A, with this softwood, um, you might be able to see there's some little chips that are just embedded in there. Um, and any oils or, that you use, it'll just soak right in. Um, and I made this a little too small. I need to need to bring it back out a little bit, um, get a little bit bigger piece of material, and then maybe even cover it with um, like some aluminum flashing or maybe even some real thin sheet metal, uh, just to give it a little more resilient surface. Um, but the thing's been great. Um, it, I mean, I use it for quite a bit of stuff. The blade that came on it, um, it's just a factory blade, and it, it broke on me. Um, and so I just went to Lowe's and got a pack of, this is the, I don't know if you can see it. Um, no. It's a 14, 18 vari variable tooth. Um, but it cuts through almost everything um, this saw there's a lot of reviews on this saw but it's got the trigger lock on it and pull and lock the trigger and lock it down um, there's a little wheel here so you can adjust the speed um, so that's pretty handy um, and you know anytime if I needed to use it portably I just take a couple screws out take those out um, put the blade guard back on it and I'm all set. Um, there is one hole um, right in here that it's one of the blade guard screws and with it being on the stand I couldn't mount it back on there so I just drilled and tapped another hole just to store it down here. It's out of the way, it stores the screw it's there if I need it um, but I've got a little two-car garage um, it's not I can't it's not big enough to fit two cars in here it's classified as a two-car garage but I've got so much other stuff that uh, between my table saw and my miter saw and a big parts washer and a couple other tables and little workbenches and this poor deep freeze uh, this is my workbench basically so I needed something that was small portable I used to have a big uh, 12 inch craftsman bandsaw that just took up way too much space so this thing has been been a lifesaver as far as a real functional tool and not not having a very big footprint um, so hope you guys enjoy this uh, it gives you some ideas as far as how to do something along these lines